tonight we have a special day. We are going to be baptizing people here. We have a pool. Praise the Lord. And it's going to be wonderful. All right, Nyakato, you have a testimony for us. Okay. Let's, let's, let's appreciate her. And I have another microphone. Where did it go? Recordless. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to thank God that I'm here and I was able to wake up. Um, I thank God that I have a wonderful mom. And oh, and uh, praise the Lord. It's because of her I'm standing, it's because of the Lord I'm standing right here. Yes. And I was not going to give this testimony, but she told me to give it because, and I told her it was embarrassing, but then a verse from the Bible came to my head, Wachigam Banti, Wonega Nakunsi, Njakwega Namugulu. So when it came to my heart, I said I didn't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Come and give a hug. Ladies, come and stand with her. My wife, come and stand with her. Encourage her. Praise the Lord. I thank God that I have been suffering for two years and I have been having periodic pain. I've been having a lot of cramps when I couldn't eat. Whenever I tried to take medicine, I could throw up. I couldn't eat for three days. And I told God, please, if this happens the next month, I... I don't know because I told him wobori kuntebe ya waguru chino sobolo chinzu jako katine mugamba It was a lot of pain that I had to endure it and I thank God it stopped Amen. Hallelujah I no longer have cramps and I thank God as soon as I call it Chigamboche. And he never forgets his faithful ones. I turned that summer in Isaiah somewhere and it stuck to my heart. So whenever, if you're going through the same thing, just know the Lord is always there for you and it is going to stop. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. O sunny day, Mukama. O sunny day, Mukama. O sunny day, Mukama. O sunny day, Mukama. O sunny day, Kabaka. O sunny day, Kabaka. Osani de Mukama, 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 de Mukama, Osani de Mukama, Osani de Mukama, Osani de Mukama, Osani de Mukama, Bakusinza, Tukusinza, Osani de Mukama, Tukusinza, Rabinunji Yokola, Osani de 
Muyimbiro kusemba yo mugambe Osani te mukama Osani te mukama Osani te mukama Osani te mukama Two months ago, I was going through a pain in my stomach. It was coming at a particular hour in the night. And I kept praying. It couldn't stop. I called and made an appointment to see my physician. And um, that's when I heard that uh, there was going to be a conference for Pastor Tom. But that was my prayer request, my one prayer request. I said, Lord, you need to heal me. I don't know what is going on. And it was almost coming at the anniversary of my surgery. I was like, what went wrong and what is going on? But for his wonderful mercy, he healed me. And I didn't even realize that he healed me. And I realized that I was healed when I was called to be reminded of my appointment. And I was like, okay, so my appointment, what am I going to do with the appointment? I don't feel the pain anymore. And um, we went back for prayers. That was, I think, on Sunday night. And uh, there was no pain. And there was no reason for me to go. I said, this time I'm not going to use my head to say, oh, let me go to the doctor to check what is going on. Lord, I trust that you healed me and I will not go to the doctor and I'm going to wait and see if this pain will come back and that pain never manifested again Jesus. Um, this weekend as you sang that song I think we're in the spirit because this weekend I had a headache first of all I thought I think I had a long sleep that's why I have a headache and I was dehydrated I kept drinking to painkillers, nothing changed. I prayed, nothing changed. Said, this is, what is this? I still kept praying and taking a lot of water until one of my friends said, do not concentrate on the headache. Just keep do doing your routine, it will stop. But the more I would stand up, my head would pound. So I called my, I called my auntie here because like we all have, I'm not saying we all, but my family has those migraines. So when I called my auntie, she started saying, oh, 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 mwana, tula, ye tula. I was like, no, 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 I'm not part of that. I'm just saying I'm not feeling well, but today is not going to be a, a migraine. I have to pray on this migraine. I stood up, started praying, took my daily routine. Actually, there's one of my friends. She came here to work with the World Bank, so she didn't know where to go. And she asked me if I could help her, but because I had already declared that this is not a migraine, I decided to go out in the light. And I must say that nothing happened to me. So sometimes I think it's in the head that, oh, I have a migraine. If I look in the, in the light, it's going to be so bad. I went out, did everything. By 8.30, that's when I realized, oh, my God, I don't, have my, I don't have a migraine anymore. And I didn't take the pills for migraine because I declared that this migraine, you must leave me alone. So I want to thank God for his healing power because uh, once I realize that this is a family thing, I declare and cut myself off. I declare and cut myself off any sickness. And I want to encourage anyone who has not done that before that you stand there and start declaring, oh, my family, my mom has this. Uh, my sisters have this. We have to go through this. I told my auntie right there that I'm not part of migraine. And I, I will keep praying for everyone who has migraine in my family to be healed because I know that I will be healed. I maybe I'm healed already and no migraine will come back to me. I want to thank God for that. <laughs> Tukusinza, tukutenda, kabaka. Tukusinza, tukutenda, mukama. Heya tufiyo. Tukuimusa, tukutenda, urwebio vyokola. Heya tufiyo. Wewe ka, mukama. Musani. Tuna 
Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise the good Lord. Amen. We praise the mighty hand of God. We praise the Lord who is the miracle worker. Mukama njagalo kuwechitibu wali katondo omukuru. You fight battles and you win. Lord has taken me through something that has been so hard and has been forbidden. You know, everyone among you has a forbidden fruit. Don't touch. It's upon you to find it. But in the garden of Eden, they had a middle tree. They were not supposed to touch. Me, my forbidden, fr my forbidden fruit is not to work on Sunday. And some, another one is personal. But this one. I'm okay to mention it. So time came, I got a job. I applied for full time Monday through Friday. I was interviewed by HR and CEO. They said, okay, it's okay. You can work through Monday, Friday, no problem. Time came, my boss, the DON, Director of Nursing is like, the system of America is not like that. Every nurse is supposed to take every the other weekend. So next week you are scheduled to work. I said, God, I'll face an old battle until it is being won. So in my heart, I was like, I'll go to the HR. I'll ask her to pull out my application and read how I applied. I'll, I'm going to stand by that. But God is so faithful. I think he knew I was, r I was going to be rude and, and I, I think hungry, I mean angry. So he gave me a dream. I'd gone to the HR CEO, told them. So they went and talked to the, my boss, D-O-N. She was so mad with me. And that was a dream. She was so very mad. I said no. Her madness and actually even physically, she's when she starts talking, powering out words, she's really someone different. I said, okay, me, I know where I report my issues, my cases, I'm not going to argue with you. I continued working every other weekend. My dismay, I would run out of the house early in the morning because I'm teaching these young little children the doctrines of God. This is what the word of God says. We are not supposed to do this. It, we are, this is the don't, this is the do. So, some, some, we, some Sundays I would miss here. So, Tabby would say, Mommy, you worked? I would say, no, I cannot work on Sunday. I, I would take off the uniform, the tags, making sure I'm not coming from work. But it was pressing on me. Charlie Chinuma, Chinuma. Omami wange, how can I work on Sunday? So, 
I said, okay, now I have to come down. I have to go into fasting and praying. I'm going to break these strongholds over America and the system. It's not the system of America that is ruling over me. I'm the, pers- I'm the one supposed to rule the system over America. I said, Lord, we are going to battle and war. Then I continued working. It was kind of sexual immorality. Let alone I didn't know it. But you are doing something you are not supposed to do. I said, oh God, oh maybe I admired someone. Maybe in my thought, maybe my heart, maybe my... But it was not that. Another, last week, when I was waking up to, uh, to go to work on Sunday, the same dream came back. I said, Lord, this must be something. This time it was so, so bad because I was kissing another man in front of my children and my husband. I'm like, oh, this cannot be. This cannot happen to me. So I am like, what can I do? I was talking with one of my fellow Christians. I said, there is a dream that is bothering me. It is coming the second time time. Maybe I'm attacking it in a wrong way. This is not what the Lord is meaning. He said, oh, oh, maybe I had on Mutundu Christian Fellowship Radio, they were explaining such a kind of like this. I said, immediately working on Sunday came to my mind. I said, oh, I'm doing something contrary to what I believe, to what I say, to what I, I mean, I walk in, to what, what, what is required of me. This time, I couldn't even wait to face the, the CEO or the HR. I went direct to ON, DON. She was so, so busy because, because we had a state in the building. I said, I would like to talk to you. If you would find me time and we go to the office. I said, no, 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 Harriet, you can talk to me because I was handling, handling over the, to her. I work before her, so I have to make sure everything is 100% clear. Oh, talk to me. I said, according to my faith and my belief, I'm not comfortable working on Sunday. And I do request, take me off the schedule. He said, she just kept quiet like for 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, she's going to yell at me. But in my, in my heart, I was breaking the strongholds. Nagamba, okay, Harriet, no problem. I know it's so hard to find someone who works constantly on Sunday, but of course I have to take you off the schedule. Here I am today, I'm not on the schedule, and I'll never be on the schedule on Sunday because that's not what I've... I mean, the relationship between my God, my husband, does not require me to do that. As well as of you who have relationships between husband and these other husbands, there are some interests, you know, this belongs to my husband, and he also knows your interests, so you don't go beyond what he does not want. So, the relationship between my God, the husband, for me, as of me, I'm not supposed to work on Sunday. So, I don't care, even if the days are cut, and I'll be earning less than what I'll be earning, I don't care. I don't live because of dollars, because I'm working. I'm living because of the, my, I mean... Because of my God. I'm here because of my God. He has taken me through many, many, many hard and tough times. So I feel I'm so happy. Again, to add on my daughter's testimony, actually coming here to give that testimony, she had a dream. She was healed way back when Pastor Tom came here, but she was holding on to giving a testimony. So last is who were praying yesterday and she was telling me, Mommy, I tell you because she always tell me her dreams are the uh, interpret. The one is I don't even, I'm not so sure we go before God and we inquire. So I said, you have to give that testimony. Because if you don't give that testimony, we will overcome the devil by the blood of, our, of the Lamb of God and by the word of the, our testimony. Unless when you want to, that pain to come back. Because it was so strange. To the extent she had even started missing school like for three days, no eating, as she said. But we thank God. You never know what is carrying for you. So I want to bless the Lord and want to give the uh, thanks to God because he has been so faithful to us and is, I mean, taking us from one level to another.
That is my testimony. Hallelujah. Another powerful testimony. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for that testimony. Uh, one thing I wanted to say. Praise the Lord. So listen to this. When God gives you dreams, when you get saved, God will begin to give you dreams. But dreams are not, I dreamt when I was drinking coffee and exactly that's it. It could be, dreams needs, need interpretation. Okay? Need what? Oh, you dreamt a, a, a brother was kicking you and you go. You go right away. We all did that, didn't we? Okay. Praise the Lord. Are you listening to me? So, if you dream, for example, let me use as an example. How many of you know Linus? Linus, maybe. And I dream is here slapping me. As an example. And then I come in the morning, Linus. You are so bad. I know. I saw you slapping me. But you did not even go to ask God, what does the dream mean? Hmm? What does the dream mean? Joseph, what dreams did he dream? He dreamt when he was the big star and the little stars were bowing to him. Was he a star? Okay. He, he dreamt about a bunch of woods. Okay? Sith, okay? His was the highest and the, the rest of his brothers were low. But his was pointing out. Did it mean that he was a wood? Hmm? So, always when you dream, ask God, what does the dream mean? First pray. Because even when you go to somebody, tell me what does the dream mean? When you're not tuned up, you won't get it. They might tell you something and you say, ah, you're talking about the world. So for her, when she told us that she saw herself being unfaithful with another man in front of the kids, doesn't mean exactly some time to papa. Maybe not from come of the art of war. Karna inzo kubanga ya chikose secho, kubanga ya chimanyi, sister Harry, tayagari la dada buenzi. Na ya katika nkula, genti chokola, chifana na ngo buenzi. Oshitegera. Sorry, to have to be in the same place. For you to understand, if, if we knew what was heaven, ha happening to heaven, in heaven, God would have showed us dreams in relation to what is heaven, happening to heaven. But he did not. He uses things that are on earth so that we can understand. He uses things that you see every day. For you to speak to you. Because God uses heavenly language. We are not yet to that level of understanding heavenly language. The Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove on Jesus when he was baptized. Is the Holy Spirit a dove? No. But what does the dove represent in our form? It is gentle. So God is speaking to us. The Holy Spirit who is coming to you is gentle and kind. God would have used an ego. Hey. But then God speaks to us in Isaiah chapter 40. Agamanti, I will, they that wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as church is single genda wa guru. So God is using images that we understand to speak to us. I need to talk about dreams. Don't worry about kids. This is very important. Because God is going to continue to speak to you as a child of God. Especially God. 
God will show you things. There are, there are things that God has showed me in a dream, and I cannot share even with the person that God showed me in a dream. What I do, I pray. Because if I share, that person may think exactly what I tell them, and they might, they might interpret it in a wrong way. Are you, are you hearing me? There's a sister who dreamt a, a snake going under her bed. What does a snake mean? Death, ugly things, huh? danger. And she, it was going under her marriage bed. And when it happened, when the husband quit and did all that nasty things, the sister said, now I remember the dream that God showed me. That I told my husband, he's a snake, he failed to kill it. He failed to kill the snake. God is using the things we know to speak to us. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because Sister Harriet, when she said she was unfaithful before the children kissing another man, it doesn't mean that. Most of the time we dream such things. Not only painting, oh, sister, I'm not tired, and I'm not kissing any brother. I'm not going to go to Tere. Much together. We know Christian anger. Can you say you've done any mirror and be way a galang or hansi? Sister, mudu kahudus. Go say hi to somebody or your mudu kokolot or your namurota. You didn't. You didn't even ask God. What does the dream mean? Somebody say, Holy Spirit. Help us. The Bible says, be led by the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit to lead us. Those are powerful testimonies. Let's clap our hands to Jesus for all the testimonies. <laughs> testimonies of healing. Testimonies of deliverance. In fact, at one time, when I used to work at Sundays, Sister Harriet is the one who said, Pastor, for me, I'm every day praying you shouldn't work on Sunday. Am I, am, am I not here now? Prayer works. Prayer does what? We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. Sister Harriet, we are not going to be able to she interceded. She every, and every Sunday she used to come. Pastor, you shouldn't work on Sunday. I'm praying. Until when they came and begged me. We want to. But they have a desire to serve the Lord. On Saturday they are preparing songs. Over the week they are preparing songs. They are practicing on Zoom. They are doing whatever it takes. Now we are here to come again. Sunday Kids have faith for God to do a miracle in your life. God is able. Hallelujah. <laughs>
Abayimbi musigale 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 musigale. Eh, hey, akaluruka Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Tuina na abayimbi mukanisa gweno dao. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Nimbira Yesu alwane talozani. Sunday, last Sunday of the month. Amen. Is that the 28th? 
Somebody check the calendar for me. 28th. We have baptism here. You're wondering why baptize? Why baptize? When you believe with your heart, okay, we're going to start from the scripture, Romans chapter 10, verse 9. You hear me? What happened? Is it, when, is it a Wednesday? September, what, what, what's the last date of, is it 23rd or 28th? Sunday, the last Sunday of the month.